Door County, Wisconsin is like an ode to nature's beauty. With 300 miles of shoreline, you are never far from the grandeur of Lake Michigan and the sparkling water of Green Bay. Add to that six state parks, 11 lighthouses, dozens of islands, and 19 unique and charming communities, and you have the makings for a fantastic vacation or a weekend away. There is no shortage of things to do here, and each season offers its own distinct way to enjoy the Door County Peninsula. Here are just a few of the many things you can see and do during your time in Door County. If you enjoy outdoor activities, you will love all of the options here. Obviously, water sports are huge. Take advantage of both Green Bay and Lake Michigan and get out on the water via kayak, paddleboard, or powerboat. Or take a guided tour. With 275 shipwrecks in the area, this is a popular destination for diving too. Most of these wrecks lie in less than 60 feet of water, so you can see lots of them by kayak as well. Many of the best beaches in Wisconsin are found in Door County, with 53 beaches to choose from. Nicolette Beach, located at Peninsula State Park, has lots of amenities, a playground, sand volleyball, concessions, and paddle sport rentals. Whitefish Dunes State Park has what many say is the best beach in the state. It's a mile-long stretch of pure perfection. Or check out Schoolhouse Beach on Washington Island to see the usual pebble shoreline filled with super smooth limestone rocks. Speaking of Washington Island, this is the biggest island in Door County and makes for a fun day or half day trip. It all begins with a 30 minute ferry ride across Death's Door, the old name given to the once treacherous waterway that connects Green Bay and Lake Michigan. Washington Island is a wonderful place to spend a relaxing afternoon, just exploring. There's great shopping and some lovely little restaurants. There's music and theater and even lavender farms. And that smooth pebble beach is really something to see. If you like lighthouses, this place is for you. Door County has been dubbed the county with the most lighthouses in America. Canna Island Lighthouse should be at the top of your list. This lighthouse, located on a little island between Bailey's Harbor and North Bay, is connected by a little causeway. You can take the hay wagon ride out to it and then scale the 97 steps to the top of it for a spectacular view of Lake Michigan and the Door County Peninsula. If you travel all the way north, you'll find the historic Rock Island Lighthouse. It's the oldest lighthouse in the entire state of Wisconsin. Hiking is a really fun activity here. There are tons of hiking trails between the five state parks and 19 different county parks. Many of these county parks are awesome to explore and hike because they're a bit less developed which allows for a more natural hiking experience. Cave Point is the most popular of these county parks, with picturesque cliffs and sea caves. There are lots of biking trails all over the peninsula too. This is a fabulous way to explore and see more of the area. Hop on one of the paved roads that hug the shoreline or utilize some of the trails in the many parks. The Sunset Bike Path in Peninsula State Park has easy access and it's quite easy to use. There are lots of scenic overlooks along the way too. 
There is a state trail that's 48 miles long, and it was built on an old railroad track. Newport State Park has a great three-mile loop to ride as well. One unique feature about Door County is the concentration of orchards. There are 2,500 acres of cherry orchards and 500 acres of apple orchards. They've been around a long time, providing you a chance to pick your own or buy some straight from the farms or markets that dot the peninsula. A fantastic way to see the communities in Door County is on the trolley. Hop on board. The depot is in Egg Harbor for an interesting and engaging way to learn about the area. They have 15 themed trolley tours, some of which include the lighthouse tour, ghost tour, culinary tour, wine or brew tour, and a scenic tour. In the winter, there's even a sleigh ride tour. The Scenic Byway is a beautiful drive through Door County. It's 66 miles of lush forests, sparkling waters, rocky cliffs, and charming towns. It's been honored as a Wisconsin Scenic Byway, and more recently as a National Scenic Byway. One of the most famous stretches of road in this part of the U.S. is Highway 42 at the tip of the Door County Peninsula. It curves and curves and curves with the sole reason to make you drive a bit more slowly and enjoy your surroundings. It is one of the most photographed roads in Wisconsin. It makes for a leisurely drive and an excellent place to snap some photos, particularly with the full autumn colors ablaze. One of the most iconic things to do in Door County is attend a fish boil. It's pretty much just like it sounds. There's an open fire and a bubbling pot of boiling water where fresh white fish, potatoes, and onions are ceremoniously tossed into the pot over a roaring fire. Flames jump and the fire sizzles as the water boils over. It's hugely popular and quite the spectacle. White Gull Inn in Fish Creek is a crowd favorite for their fish boil, and it's perfectly topped off with a piece of their homemade cherry pie, made with, you guessed it, Door County cherries. For a little bit of history, you can visit the Maritime Museum in Sturgeon Bay. The galleries and exhibits pay tribute to the local fishermen, ship captains, and lighthouse keepers. There are 30 model ships, an interactive lighthouse, and a 1907 steamship. There's also an in-season exhibit featuring a 149-foot tugboat that you can board and take a tour of. What's great about Door County is that you can cater your time to what you like to do. It's a mecca for those that love the outdoors and appreciate the majesty of the Midwest. Truly, this peninsula is as good as it gets. As each season turns on the color wheel, so too do the different things to do and experience in Door County. It's fitting it's called Door County because it's an open door for a vacation that you will remember and want to recreate again and again. So come on up and make your way into this Wisconsin gem. The door is wide open. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.